Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Michelle and I am a flight attendant for a major US airline and I vlog about my trips. I do my best to take you guys with me. So if you recognize this room and the surroundings, you have probably been with my channel or seen a couple videos from a few months back. So that's great, so glad to have you back. But if this looks totally unfamiliar to you, I will catch you up and I will explain. So I have just transferred back to San Francisco and I was in San Francisco for about three years, for a little over three years, um, from 2020 to 2023 in January, January, January. And I transferred out because my seniority wasn't looking too hot there. <laughs> it wasn't great at the time. So I went to Chicago, spent six amazing months in Chicago. So glad that I was there. It was such a good time. But in that time period that I was away from San Francisco, it totally, completely changed as a base. They sent so many new hires there. It went from one of our most senior bases, like our most senior big base, not including something like Honolulu or London or like Fort Lauderdale, went from our most senior base to literally our most junior base in like four months. So I am so like excited and happy for the change that um, has happened in San Francisco. Uh, things are always changing. Who knows if it'll stay junior, stay go senior again, who knows? But for me, I loved San Francisco as my base and I, it made sense to come back because it was a closer commute for me instead of a three and a half hour flight to and from Phoenix to Chicago. It's now only an hour and a half flight and I also have family in Orange County. I'm from Orange County and try to go see them a lot. So it's just a lot closer to see them. And I just loved the area. I love the Bay Area. I'm a California girl through and through. Um, and I was able to get my room back that I had rented before. So um, for the last, you know, three years that I was here, I had rented a shared room and a house in the Bay and I absolutely loved it. It was just such a good home for me. Um, love my roommates, loved, um, we have cats, love the cats, um, and I just love the neighborhood. I just couldn't have thought of a cuter, better neighborhood to live in. And I felt so lucky because I was able to move back in here and I'm just so excited to be back. And for me, it just made more sense to come back to a base that was closer and where I had a better living situation than at a crash pad. So now I'm like so happy to have a little bit more space. Um, and I'm a line holder here again, which is incredible. Um, I really would have never left if my seniority wasn't so bad at the time, but it is so great to be a line holder here in San Francisco, and I just can't wait for this new little chapter of my career. Um, and yeah, today I am working a three-day trip, start my first trip back as an SFO based flight attendant. It honestly feels like I never left. Like I feel like I know this area so well. Um, but it is 1020 right now and my check-in is at 120 PM, but I will probably go to the airport. I'm going to start getting ready pretty early because, um, before I had my car up here, I am planning on bringing my car back up here. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, cause it's my first trip back. So I am taking public transportation to the airport and I have to take two trains. Um, there's like a variety of ways I can get there, but today the way that works best for me timing wise is taking two trains. So I'm giving myself a lot of extra time and I'm leaving a lot earlier. And obviously it just takes longer than driving. Um, and then yeah, we're going to Honolulu today. I'm so excited. I've never had a Honolulu layover, even though I've been to Honolulu a handful of times. So I'm excited. I'm also working with um, a friend. I had worked with her before. If you watched my um, New Orleans, we got scammed video. She was in that one. So I'll link it up there if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm excited to see her, excited to work to Hawaii. And yeah, we worked two flights today. We go SFO LAX, LAX to Honolulu. We land there at around 9.30 p.m. So it'll be a long night. But yeah, let's get ready. So excited to be back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi everyone, just made it to Honolulu. Um, the day was great, everything went very well, um, except for we did have one little issue I'll talk about a little later because I don't have time right now. Um, my crew is incredible, love them, and I have to make this quick because we are meeting up. Um, a whole flight attendant crew and the both pilots and the pilot's brother um, are meeting up to get drinks. So, don't have time to talk, let's get changed. This is Stephanie. Stephanie was in the We Got Scammed vlog and was part of the scamming experience. So we've been through a lot together. <laughs> I'm back in my room. I had such a good night. Um, we had so much fun. It was my whole crew of four flight attendants plus the two pilots that went out with us and then the FO's brother. So we had so much fun. We just went to a few bars and we walk walked around the beach and we had such a good time together. I am so grateful for my good crew. I have said it before, I will say it again. It is the crew, not the destination, that makes the layover special. It makes the trip good and I am so grateful for this crew that I spent time with. Um, I also don't really hang out with my pilots much. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've hung out with my pilots since like pre-COVID and it was just so fun to all go out together and I'm just really grateful for the good crew times that we had together. Um, but it's really late now. It's time for me to go to bed. Talk to you in the morning. Good morning, it is 7.46 a.m. I did not sleep very much, but I'm still feeling okay. Gonna go out go out on a walk right now. Um, I think we'll probably meet up with the flight attendant crew later, but for now, we're gonna go on a walk. Okay, I walked around for almost six miles. We got 5.8 miles while I was talking to my friend. I walked around for two hours, so I didn't film much because we were just on the phone the whole time. And yeah, I walked around pretty much all of Waikiki. Now I'm going to meet one of my crew members down at the beach and we're just gonna chill there for a bit. Hi everyone, back from lunch. It was so delicious. We basically went, we Ubered down to more like the Ala Moana center area and, oh sorry, <laughs> you can tell I jumped in the ocean because my eyeliner is all smudged off. But um, we went to a Korean barbecue there, we ate, we walked around Ala Moana center, we went to Foodland Farms because you know me, I love a grocery store on a layover. Um, so I just got a few things that I wanted to pick up and that's pretty much it um i am going to go downstairs to return my towel like you have to like return the towel and like get your card back your like towel card back so i'm gonna do that and then um i'm gonna try to take a nap because it is almost 4 p.m now um my pickup is at 8 20 p.m and we are working a red eye back to san francisco so i want to get some rest especially because i barely got any sleep uh last night it was a great night but i just barely got any sleep I'll show you what I bought real quick before I do the towel exchange. Okay, first things first, we got our cute little Foodland Oahu reusable bag. Um, we love, I love a reusable bag and I love the ones from Foodland because they are good quality and I just think they're so cute. Now for what I got, didn't get much. Got some poke. Um, I love Foodland poke. This is um, just ahi um, shoyu poke and I'm going to eat this for my like dinner. 
Got some fresh cut pineapple. Um, I'm gonna eat this probably while I'm getting ready as a snack. I got these Li Hing um, sour lychee gummies. Um, I have bought these before and my husband loves the regular lychee gummies and um, that like comes in a pretty big bag. Um, this is a really small bag and it's a Li Hing version so I thought I would try these ones. Last um, but not least, I got a Celsius for the flight back because it's the red eye and I need to stay awake. I have recently become like a Celsius girl. Um, I I love coffee and I never drink energy drinks, but these have like only 10 calories and way less sugar than I would have in any like normal like coffee I would drink. So, and they taste good and they're fun. So that's what I bought. Let's exchange the towels. Okay, let's do this towel exchange. First of all, pineapple, amazing. Second of all, you know, if the World Cup is on, I'm watching. Hi everyone, it's 7.34, my pickup is at 8.20. I am just getting ready now, packing things up and putting on some makeup. Um, I did take a nap, I was able to fall asleep, which is really nice, probably at least for an hour and a half, probably almost two hours, so I do feel a lot better. I uh, don't know if I feel good enough to work this red eye, but the show must go on. Hi everyone, it's about 10 minutes until pickup, so I'm going to head downstairs. I had an amazing time here. It was honestly one of my favorite layovers. I just had a really good crew, and I am so happy to be back as an SFO-based flight attendant. Um, we work one flight back. Honolulu to SFO, we, um, it's a red eye, so we get in around 6.45 a.m. And then I'm commuting back to Orange County. Um, my, my family is from Orange County, and my husband and I are actually spending around three weeks down in Orange County, so I'll be commuting um, to and from there for most of the month of August. And he's just working remote right now, and we are really close to my family. And also, it'll be nice to, like, to get a break from the Arizona heat. So we are excited to be spending time with my family. They're in some of my videos if you've seen them before. I love my family, really, really close to them. So I am really excited to be spending a few weeks with them. But yeah, I had such a good time. I We were working to get the 777 back. I am FAO2 first class galley. And I also think I just wanna say, I don't think I filmed that much this layover. And I know I probably should have gotten more content, but I had so much fun and I was just really like living in the moment and not thinking about filming because I was just enjoying. And yeah, I love this layover. I love this, love this trip. Let's go home though. We just got to the airport and went through KCM and my whole crew got randomed except for me. The beautiful triple seven, this is my valley. Hi everyone, I made it back to San Francisco and my flight over here was really good. Um, it went by really fast, our flight time was short. It was only four hours and seven minutes. Everything was smooth. Most people pretty much just slept the whole time in first class. And I just got here, ran to try to catch a commuting flight and we got in super early. So I wasn't even like hoping and expecting to make it, but I didn't make it in time. The boarding door closed like right when I got there, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to catch a, another flight on my airline in about an hour and a half. So got a little bit of time to kill, but um, yeah. But I am so grateful for this trip, honestly top 10 layovers of all time i had so much fun i had such a good crew not just so the core four of us stuck together the whole entire time and we had some extras pop in here here and there for different flights when we were on the bigger planes and every single person i worked with this trip was just amazing hardworking, wonderful great attitudes and it just 
makes the world of a difference. So I am so grateful for this trip and I am, it was, it was like the perfect welcome back to SFO present. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have an exciting vlog coming up next for the next trip that I have next week and I can't wait to share it with you. So please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next one.